group calling themselves the Patriotic Millionaires for Fiscal Strength wants to pay higher taxes. Eric Schoenberg is a member of that group. He's also the chairman of Campus Works, and Eric joins us this morning. So welcome to the program. Thank you. So you want to pay a higher tax rate on upper income, right? I certainly believe tax rates need to go up on higher income individuals. Okay, may I ask you this? You're part of the Patriotic Millionaires group. That's correct. Do you earn a million dollars a year? Uh, I have in years past. I don't do it consistently. But you don't now? Uh, it's so been a couple of years. Since you I are think. a millionaire who has acquired a million dollars worth of wealth, but you don't make a million dollars per year. Yeah, well, there is this kind of confusion now. I mean, historically, I think a millionaire referred to somebody who had more than a million dollars in wealth. Now it's kind of confused to mean right. somebody who has a million dollars in wealth. So, income. reading between the lines here, if you don't earn a million dollars a year, you're not going to have to pay the extra taxes on a million dollar a year income, are you? Well, let somebody else will pay the higher tax rates that you want them to pay. No, my position is that tax rates ought to go up on incomes above $250,000 a year, which is, of course, the issue that's currently under discussion. And I certainly fall in that category. Okay. Do you have... Uh, what about people like me? I've got six children, seven grandchildren. I earned and worked for every pet that I have made. Mm -hmm. I already pay more than 50% of my income in taxes. You want me to pay some more? You don't think I'd pay my fair share? There are a number of different issues that get involved here. I think, uh, let's begin with the basic issue. Uh, this country is facing a fiscal disaster. No, let's begin with me, Eric. Okay. Do you think that I should pay more than 50% of my income in taxes? I think that... I'm an up-and-coming immigrant striver. Are you I, trying to depress me and suppress me? I think it is perfectly reasonable for those who, who have done well by the society we live in to contribute to that society. More than 50%? You're in favor of that? What about people like me? I've got six kids. Well, first of all... Six it, college educations, seven grandchildren. Let, let me say, uh, you know, I'd be curious about how you're paying more than 50% since the top rate on, on income at the federal income tax level is 36%. So I assume you're adding in t uh, taxes beyond yes. income Yes. When, when I say 50%, 50 cents on the dollar, I'm basically saying that federal income taxes and state income taxes add up to a net loss of 50 cents on the dollar for me for every extra dollar that I earn. I say that is unfair, but you want me to pay even more. Well, I Don't do you? want you to pay more, yeah. uh, but let's go back to the issue you're sort of alluding so, I tell to, which you is my, my trying to get you to pay higher taxes. I, I support a number of important changes in our tax policy, and one of the important ones that I support is that I don't understand why people like you, who actually work for a living, should pay higher tax rates than people like me, who earn the majority of our income from investment. But wait a minute, you want me to pay even more, for heaven's sake. But I'm saying that I should be paying even more than, than the difference I, I, I want you to pay. And, and again, to focus on each of us as individuals, I think, belies the most important fact. Well, how are we supposed to take this other than as an individual? Here you go to the White House, you have this meeting with the President, and you are not going to pay higher taxes. On but your, I am going to no, pay higher taxes. Not on the million that you've accumulated. You're calling yourselves patriotic millionaires. You've accumulated your million bucks. You're sitting on it. You're living on it, thank you very much indeed. But you're not going to pay tax on that million bucks. I am going to pay more money on my income. You are saying, I, Stuart Varney, who came here with nothing, has worked for every red cent that he's got, should pay more. Let me ask you a question. Do you support estate taxes? No. That, that, no, no, I don't. I, oh, you don't support I, estate I, taxes. I, I, so you want your children to be able to be in my situation paying lower taxes than you who work for a living because you made the money for them and gave it to them. I will make the argument that the state would get a lot more money if it abolished the estate tax. But that is an entirely separate story. It is a separate I'll argument. You what. Now you're switching to the argument of saying that the state is going to make more money. So that if the question is what kind of tax level is actually going to generate more income. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's talk but, about that. I'll tell you what we should do. We should lower tax rates and abolish some deductions. That would bring in a whole lot more money to the federal treasury. I say let's, let's raise tax rates and also eliminate these deductions. Our federal government is facing a fiscal disaster. And it seems to me eminently reasonable to ask the most successful people in this country who benefited the most from the system that our government has been able to create to contribute to resolving that problem. If we raise taxes on the people making more than $250,000 a year, we bring in $87 billion to the treasury, right? That's the number, okay? That's 
that's from the government itself, 87 billion. That is 10 weeks worth of interest on the federal debt. It will do nothing. It will, in fact, depress the motivation of wealthy people to go out and do another job, work harder, or make some more money in a different direction. I, I think the evidence is, uh, and, uh, on that specific issue is not there. There is no evidence that, in fact, higher taxes well, cause people don't to need, work Hold less. on a second. You don't need evidence. You just need math. The president is, is on saying it's just a matter of math. Well, the math is that we have a $1.1 trillion deficit year after year for four years in a row because that $800 billion add-on in the stimulus turned out not to be a one-time event but a regular baseline item. So we've got this huge deficit. $80 billion is the most, the most that is going to be raised every year from raising the tax rates. That's only 8% of this deficit. Where do you get the other 92%? The, the idea that we shouldn't do something because it's not going to solve the problem totally is ridiculous. But if it makes no, when Mitt Romney, worse, when Mitt Romney was asked, when Mitt Romney was going to, to when, when Mitt Romney was asked about how we're going to solve the deficit, he talked to reducing funding for PBS. Do you know how much the money goes is to what PBS? What raises the most amount of money? Yes. It's not raising tax rates, it's increasing growth. Growth in the economy and all I doing agree. to raise tax rates but is decreased. When growth. did we have higher growth rates in the economy? We had higher growth rates in the United States in the economy in yeah. the 1950s when the top marginal rate on income was 91. Uh, you know, the the argument that says Paul the argument that says but, but that, that, you know, know who paid that? You know how you, if you adjusted for inflation. That cutoff right now would be $3.6 million. And I would be fully in favor of here's, here's imposing I, a higher rate on people with income that at I that level. Here's that I really have a problem with. You know, I've read a couple of articles about you, and I know you inherited a certain amount of money. You know, you get two people, a family, they struggle to, 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 um, to Stewart's point, and they get, you know, maybe a family business, and they're doing 400000 a year. I don't know, plumbing, uh, a couple of laundromats. And at the end of the day, you inherited money, but you want to punish them for their success. I, 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 I'm, I am so contemptuous of people in your organization who want to punish people who have made, who have barely achieved the American dream and make it harder for their kids to achieve it. Did you inherit I think wealth? It's despicable. Did you inherit wealth? So first of all, yes, Did I have you? inherited you wealth, inherited but I've also made money on my own. Wait a minute. You inherited wealth? I did. What about the rest of us who are strivers, the Charles Payne? All three of us. All of us. So, three so of us. So gentlemen, so we are first, first of all, I, re, I restate my basic point. Do you support the idea of equalizing the rates on investment income and on income that you earn from working? Because this is the point I made repeatedly. Flat tax, Why should you guys who have worked hard... Hold on a second. You just ask a question. Let me answer it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's called, it's called a flat tax. It's something that Steve Forbes has been arguing about for a long time. Make us all pay the same rate but for our taxes and get rid of those deductions. I would, so you're a flat taxer. That's great. I, I say we should equal... Uh, the, the, you are confusing multiple issues. The issue of what the tax rate is. Steve Forbes believes that we should not have anybody pay uh, income on capital gains. Is that not correct? On, on money that you've already earned. On, on capital gains. This is not money you've already earned. Yes. You're, okay. you're making you money, money on, on money hold that on, you Hold on, I'm almost out of time, but I do have a last question. If you want people like me to pay higher taxes, okay, you, or, or you, people like yourself to pay higher taxes, did you bring your checkbook today? I don't have my checkbook. Will you write a check to the government and pay the taxes voluntarily taxes, because you want other people to pay? Taxes are not a voluntary process. Uh, well, well, when taxes you, are the you, price we pay for civilization. If you want other people to pay, you're a millionaire. You want other people to pay higher taxes. Why don't you volunteer? Get right I out want front and do all it. of us to Why pay higher taxes. I challenge you to do it. Because this is entirely beside the point. You'll make me, we do but not, you won't do it yourself. We, I'm trying to make us you all. Inherited you and your I, you I and I it. should pay equally. You we should both make it. contribute. I You're now it. asking why should you be able to free ride? I'll tell you what. Free will ride. You free ride. Will you, <laughs> let me <laughs> wait a second. Will you agree? Will you agree to not allow the government to do anything for you? You're not going to allow the police to protect you. You're not going to allow the fire department to put out a fire. You're not going to let the uh, U.S. military. Well, it's uh, the exact uh, same uh, argument. Uh, You're uh, asking uh, me uh, to uh, contribute uh, to, to uh, pay for those things myself uh, so you can free ride on that. Oh, no, I say, if you don't want the benefits of 
government, want, you can go to a place like second. Somalia. Hold on a second. People are paying zero, zero federal income tax, suck up more of those benefits you're talking about in a day than Stuart Barney will suck up in a year. The Thank firemen you. are called to their neighborhood every day. The policemen five times a day. The welfare office. Who is sucking up all of the benefits? It's let's not go, Stuart Barney. Let's go back to Who's the question you raised. Is it reasonable to ask me to voluntarily pay more when you are unwilling to voluntarily accept that you don't want these benefits the government provides? Are you not going to drive on the roads that the government pays for? It? Are you <laughs> not going to use bridges and tunnels that the government but pays isn't for? It? Right time. Sorry. Sorry. Well, I'll, I'll, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I've got a hard break. That's the way it is in television. A pleasure. Thank Maybe you. you'll come back again. Thank you. Maybe. <laughs> My take on fairness and President Obama is next.